we move on to rank correlation. As I have already expressed, the correlation coefficient can also be applied in situation, business situation, where you talk about attributes or you know some qualitative parameters of the data. So rank correlation is one such which you can use it for several uh, attributes, say for example judgment, beauty, job satisfaction, work culture, leadership, all those uh, attributes which cannot be expressed by way of a, a data or you know numeric value you can do it by way of giving certain ranks or you know you can scale it on a rank and then you can compare and then arrive at the correlation coefficient we will see how we can do that they can also definitely show correlation it is called Spearman's rank correlation or capital R after the inventor. This is the person who has uh, identified how to calculate this and we will take a couple of examples on this. The calculation for a rank correlation is given by 1 minus 6 sigma d square over n into n square minus 1 where d is a rank 1 and difference between rank 1 and rank 2. That is you know you have two variables or and those two variables are ranked and then you find the rank difference. We will see by way of an example now. So this is a classical example where grades and salaries of MBA graduates in a campus recruitment. So the students have acquired certain grades and they are graded, they are ranked based on their grades. Again, they have been offered salaries. Okay, the salaries are ranked and uh, you may find that there may be difference between the ranks that is due to very many reasons. These are all the different students who have been selected and the rank is given based on the grades and the rank based on what salaries offered is also shown here. You will find that they are not exactly the same. There will be some differences. Okay. And the different D is the difference between this and this. You can very clearly see the person was ranked in the grade in the salary he has been put into three okay like that you can see that and this is d square using this applying on the formula you will get the correlation coefficient or the rank correlation coefficient as 0.891 and this is how you arrive at Spearman's coefficient of correlation okay uh, that could be situations where you know the students might have got the same grade okay in which case how will you give a rank and that is what is shown here if they have the same grade okay you add both their ranks and then divide by two and that will be a common rank 3.5 will be that's how you arrive at the rank when two persons have the same grade this is another very good example wherein there are several attributes you can see here. Okay, it's a survey of job satisfaction on attributes conducted in India and Asia Pacific region. Okay, so there are 10 factors that are taken and these are all the uh, percentage has been found out in terms of uh, their uh, various uh, attributes and they are ranked. Okay, so you can see the ranks based on the percentage is given here and if you calculate the rank correlation coefficient it comes to 0.9515 so which tells that almost there is a good relationship between the job satisfaction level or you know in India as well as the Asia Pacific region is almost same. Okay, 0.95 is a practical there is a very good uh, correlation, very high level of correlation. Now let us move on to coefficient of determination. Coefficient of determination is the square of correlation coefficient that is R square. A correlation coefficient of R is 0.9. The coefficient of determination is R square which is 0.81. 
Okay, take the square of 0.9, it will give you 0.81 or 81%. There are several ways to interpret this. A simple way of understanding in the above correlation coefficient is for income and expenses. The increase in expense is explained by income increase by 81% of the data or 81% of pairs of data. Alternatively, 19% is due to some other factors like probably SOPs, okay, discounts, EMIs, like that. So the directly relating factor for the expense increase is income. However, that is only to the extent of 81%. The 19% is also called coefficient of alienation. Okay, so that many percentage or set of data could not explain or cannot explain the dependent variables value. Okay. Now let us understand this pictorially also. This is the graph. The coefficient of determination will be from 0 to 1 because it is always square of the correlation coefficient will be positive. In terms of percentage, it will be 0 to 100 percent. So, if it is close to 0, that means lesser and lesser pair explains this or at 0 percent, none explained or not explained by single pair. On the contrary, if it is 100 percent, all the pairs of data or the sets of data explains the correlation or by way of having ascertained the determination. So partially explained is any value that falls between these two. So if you look at correlation coefficient, correlation coefficient gives strength as well as direction. Okay, whether it is positive correlation or negative correlation. On the contrary, coefficient of determination talks only about strength how strong the data are correlated and that is by way of percentage let us go back and understand this example so we have seen this example for this example the coefficient of determination will be 0.383 that is the square of this one that means 38.3 percent of the data explains the variation okay so hardly about that talks out about three pairs of data Okay, as I had already expressed, the coefficient of determination tells about the pairs of data that supports the correlation and depending on the application and depending on the environment, one need to understand how to interpret from the coefficient of, coefficient of determination. Let us take the examples which have, for which we have worked out correlation coefficient and try to understand that. In the first example, the production index and unemployment, as the production index comes down, the unemployment goes up. And that's why it is a negative correlation of 0.62 and coefficient of determination is 38% only. Out of eight sets of data, only three sets of data can support the correlation or explain. When you go to the other example, the second example is the profit earned by automobile companies and it shows a very good correlation 8 pairs out of 10 pairs clearly indicate the companies reaped good benefit in the rank correlation once again when you work it out clearly high grades indicate higher salary because 8 pairs of data supports this by going through the the correlation coefficient and taking the coefficient of determination and the last one, almost all attributes explains favorably on the job satisfaction okay, between India and Asia Pacific countries. That, more, that means that almost the same environment exists in India as well as Asia Pacific countries. Mm -hmm.